everybody, how's it going? Steve here. Uh, got a been a while since I've done a video. Uh, wanted to show you some stuff. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, uh, and I've acquired some stuff since then. And I wanted to uh, kind of take you through some of the things that I've added to my collection. I don't remember how long it's been since I've done the last video. I know I've put up a couple shaving uh, lather reviews. Um, but, uh, excuse me while I adjust here just for a second. Uh, going. That channel has taken off, and so I've already got some subscribers on that. If you're interested in wet shaving, anything old school shaving related, uh, go my other channel go to the last uh, uh, I think the last channel or channel before you'll see a lather review uh, and then that'll have a link to my channel in there uh, Dakota wet shave reviews um, and so that's what I will be doing um, as a secondary channel uh, because that is something that I'm pretty stoked about something I'm passionate about uh, something I love to do and so I love learning more and more and all the goodies it's to me it's as bad as uh, pipe smoking you can uh, you know you have pad and tad and I have rad to boot razor acquisition disorder and uh, bad brush acquisition disorder and sad soap acquisition disorder and yeah I'm in trouble uh, so, if you're interested in that, Dakota Wet Shave Reviews. Okay, enough for the plugs. I want to get into the goodies that I've picked up lately. We, uh, me and my wife, oh, about three weeks back, we took uh, took a day, left all four of the goody, the youngins, uh, with Grandma and Papa, and we had a weekend, and that yeah, was wonderful. Um, and it was, you know, just absolutely great to do. Um, and we had a lot of fun, and uh, I picked up some things, but before we, I get to that, I want to show you something I picked up, uh, a couple things I picked up off of eBay, being it's Monday, uh, I picked this up a few months back, and I've only uh, smoked it once, but I picked it up a few months back, and uh, I finally got me a Meerschaum, and... Uh, picked up this little beauty off of eBay. Will you grab me that uh, white? I don't think I grabbed it. Uh, yeah, that white package. Captain Black. Thank you. Should be right out in the open. But anyway, it's been smoked and it's already kind of started changing color. One thing I noticed was that, uh, and of course this light's yellow, so it doesn't help any. It's not quite as dark. But one thing that I noticed, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I picked some of that up while we were out on our date. And I uh, picked up several others. And I got some other stuff that I'm going to show you that we picked up. But right now I'm going to load this. But anyway, uh, one thing I found that was very cool is those all those little holes on here. Uh, you can see down it up all through ways and I have no idea how they did that it's amazing to me uh, the craftsmanship that went into this um, on eBay I picked up another uh, mini Meerschaum I missed the part where it said mini and I spent 15 bucks on this deal waited for almost a month for it to come from Turkey straight from Turkey is where it come from and uh, Brand spanking new. Whole pipe's that big. Smokes for about five minutes. And uh, kind of pissed me off. Because in a picture, like I said, I missed the description. It's entirely my fault. But in a picture, it looks huge. Of course, that's kind of the way things are. In pictures, they look way bigger than what they actually are. So, here's your Monday.
very nice uh, smoking pipe. I've only smoked it once. Anyway, so tonight I'm smoking the Captain Black White package. Uh, very nice. Very flavorful. So, that is very cool. But this, I was talking to uh, Captain Spaulding earlier. My first Google Hangout was somebody awesome in the community. Uh... Not had any other Google Hangouts, so I have nobody else to compare it to. Um, anyway, uh, I mean, I was part. I've been part of a group one, um, and that was great. But not, I've not had a one-on-one. -on -one, I should say. And uh, let me get in one of my other goodies right away that I will show you here in just a second. I got to get something out. I love the smell of that. When we were on our date, went to a antique store, and this was in something else that I'm going to show you. It's an old tamper, but uh, really cool. Sorry, I don't mean to ramble. But if you're here, you're going to be here a while. Anyway, so, found this one on eBay, too. And I was completely stoked about this one. I've been drooling over these guy, this guy's pipes for a while. Commented on piles of them, saying, I'm going to have one one day. Made a video that said, I'm going to have one. Several times I've mentioned, I'm going to have one. And I got one. Uh-huh. Look at that. Now, I didn't get this straight from Rick. Don't want to burst you bubble, but I didn't. I couldn't afford one straight from Rick at the time. Still can't. Look at that beauty right there. The guy said he only smoked it about four or five times. Pretty uh, thin-walled. But it is a Rick Black Dublin. Oh, I am so stoked. And if you look really close, which you may not be able to see, it took me a while with my bare eye to find it. But right there, it's actually stamped Rick. It's got his little stamp in it. So I was completely and totally stoked to finally have a Rick Black. I haven't smoked it yet. I'm afraid to smoke it. I don't know when I want to smoke it. But if you look inside the bowl, I don't know if I can get any light. This thing has barely even been charred. And I don't know if he lines his or not. Uh, but it, this one doesn't seem to. The bottom of the bowl is still uh, brown. It You can't see it. I know. But bottom of the bowl hasn't even been burnt yet. It hasn't even been broken in. So it's practically brand spanking new. So I was completely and totally stoked. Because I took a picture of this pipe when I was getting ready to buy it on eBay. And I sent it to Rick and I said, is this your pipe? He said, it looks like one of mine. Good enough for me. So I grabbed it. And sure enough, it's got the Rick Black stamp. Came in the Rick Black bag. I was as happy as I could be. I promise you that. Now, on to the goodies. Remember, we had the date. And so on this day, we went, I, I love antique stores. I don't know about you, but I, I, my mom got me started on antique stores when I was a kid. It was time we could spend together, me and my mom. And I, that's probably where I started acquiring my love for the old things, nostalgic things, pipe smoking, shaving, 
all that. And if I'd have been smart as a kid, I would have bought all the razors I ever saw and I bought all the pipes as I ever, well, I don't think my mom would have let me buy the pipes, but I'd have, I saw quite a few razors that I wish if I could go back in time, I'd buy the stinking razors. But I grew up in the South and there's antique stores everywhere. And, uh, well, here in South Dakota, there ain't that many. There's a lot of thrift shops. And I, I looked through the thrift shops, and I found quite a bit of stuff. Nothing really worth having. But I went to this antique store, and it was wall-to-wall. -wall, every nook and corner and cranny had something in it, and it, that had something in it, and that had something in it. So you had to really look in this one. So here's a couple things I found. I'm going to go through them pretty quick. Oh. Hang on. One more thing. Another eBay find that I got. I'm digging inside one of the things. I picked this up off of eBay from John1179. He lives uh, in Ohio, and it's a Trippus Canadian Briar. Uh, very, very nice. He's a great guy. Um, I actually bought my first pipes from him, and he sent. He was the first one who introduced me what the community of pipe smoking was about, and uh, sent me tobacco with my first pipe. I bought two pipes at the same time from him. Um, and I just bought this one. I absolutely love the shape of this. I love Dublins. I love bent Dublins. Uh, this is a half bent. I love quarter bents, half bents. Um, maybe even you consider this a full bend. I don't know, but I consider it a half bend, but I absolutely love this pipe. It smokes great. Um, the only thing I don't like about pipes that have this kind of a stem is that they get really small and it's in the gurgle, which this one does. Um, but he cleans them, he makes sure they're right for you, and I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Partially rusticated, which I love that, so you get best of both worlds on this pipe. And uh, it's just a great smoking pipe. John is an amazing guy on eBay if you want to find pipes. He doesn't have them up all the time. He has them up quite a uh, He He makes sure he has a pretty good lot when he goes to uh, put them up, and he'll sell 5, 10, 15 pipes at a time, and they're all very reasonable. Um, some of them get pretty spendy. He sold everything from no names to uh, drugstore brands to uh, Peterson's and all the other ones. Excuse me while I relight. You know how it is. You get the jaw jacking. Anyway, on to the goodies. In this store, I was looking around. I went in with the one purpose, my main or main one main purpose, and the one main purpose was to find anything with wet shaving, because I've heard you can find all kinds of stuff like that. And if not wet shaving, pipe smoking. Guess what I found? I told you, this came in this. Now this is old, I don't know how old, but it's old. This is a tobacco, pipe tobacco humidifier. Came with two of those. Came with a partial one. And a whole one of Dr. Gray Old Pipe Sweetener. How you guys talk with a pipe in your mouth? I'll never know. Still working on it. So anyway, here's the second one. Oh, that's how it is. You grip it in your back teeth. Okay. I don't know how this works. If you know how this works, please send me a message. Google. Uh, Google Plus me. Uh, Gmail me. Steve Deacle at gmail.com. Hit me up with a comment on this. Let me know how this system works. This thing, it's it's uh, lined with cork. It smells amazing. It still had the smell from whoever stored tobacco in it prior. But in the store, I also found this. A, uh, which I could use right now. Yon Pipe Rack. And so I'm going to use this right now. While I'm talking to you, let my pipe sit. But then, so as we keep, and then of course that was in there, and it was there was a couple old bits, uh, they were chewed through. It's raining. We're supposed to have thunderstorms like tonight, but anyway, 
So anyway, I'm going through and I just happened to go to the woman at the counter. I said, do you have any pipes? Do you have anything wet shaving? Yeah, I got this, 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 and this. And she shows me. She pulled, I looked through razors. There was several straight razors and some old regular razors, which I bought one, by the way. I bought an old Gillette. But anyway, she showed me the pipes. She had three pipes. I picked this one. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful red in there. This has no name, but it says Italian made briar. Or it says imported briar, Italy. But I absolutely love the stem color. It's kind of a red caramel color. A beautiful pipe I love this bend on any pipe any shape I love this bend period um, it's got a really I mean we're talking almost you know right there that black mark and I'm not flipping you off but anyway it's to right there that's I mean it's a nice deep bowl I can get part of my thumb into it um, I was jonesing for a pipe. I didn't take nothing. Forgot to grab it when we were going on our date. Um, and I was jonesing for one pretty bad. But, uh, of course, it's got a little dinky bitty hole. Once again, I don't care for that. Uh, I have taken pipes in the past and drilled that bigger. Just to make the draw better. And so it wouldn't gurgle as bad. But it's just an absolutely beautiful pipe. I love it. And there was a couple others. They were uh, in a little more used shape, shall we say. They had seen their day. They were still perfectly smokable. So I found that. Also, I'm walking around and I found this. A Cuban cigar box that which I have some other stuff that I'm going to show you in here Cuba 1965 it's cedar lined uh, it doesn't sit exactly closed I'm sure some humidity has gotten to it before um, I was gonna put cigars in here but because of that I couldn't I don't know that I could regulate so I used it for pipe stuff but right now currently as we were going through this antique store for you snuff guys, and for Mr. Murdoch Kendricks who helped me get into snuff by sending me some samples, which thank you very much. I have about blown through all of it, and my wife has too. My wife got into snuff. She she tried pipe smoking. Nah, she loves the smell of it, but she just nah, didn't work. So sorry, ladies, if you're watching. She's sorry she didn't make it into the ladies pipe smoking society. Uh, but... We tried snuff, and she loves snuff. Um, raspberry seems to be her favorite, and spearmint, which we found that, and she just absolutely loves snuff. She loves the smell of my cigars. She didn't even want to try them. But in this antique store, we found this. And I got this for like three bucks. Now, W.E. Garrett's and Sons Sweet Mild Snuff. This stuff is extremely fine. You're thinking, it's sitting in an antique store. Well, are you, you going to try it? I tried it. When I first opened it, it smelled awesome. Now it smells like the cardboard it's in. I don't know what happened. I probably shouldn't have opened it, but I did. Um, but I've had a few troubles with allergies and my sinuses being off a little bit. Uh, but this is really fine. So it's like... Like you barely breathe and it's hitting the back of your throat. If you have a remedy for extremely fine snuff that will keep it from just going crazy like that, let me know. But this kind of got a funky smell after we opened it and, and tried it. I got that for three bucks. That right now, if you look that up, that's like twenty five to fifty bucks, depending upon where you go. Three bucks. Anyway. So I was jonesing for a pipe. Remember? So we went to this tobacco shop where we had been before and I'm missing quite a few of these out of here right now because my wife has some in her purse.
But as we, we went through it, they had redone this tobacco store. I was kind of dreading going in. Last time I went in, it was all about conspiracy theories and UFOs. And I don't care what your stance is on that. Don't let it overwhelm where you're at and what you're doing. It did. So I just really got turned off by the place. And I thought, you know, I know I can get this certain type of tobacco, which is the Rushmore blend, which I've come to discover is one Q, but it's mixed with something I've figured out. Uh, but anyway, and so I, you know, well, I know I can at least get that and I can get out. I walk in, they've redone the store. They got a new manager. Everything is completely brand new. They have a humidor, which you really couldn't tell was there last time. He said, yeah, it's been there the whole time. But the way they had the store laid out, you didn't, I mean, didn't really click. It was really done nice. They had snuff. Now, yes, I know this is the the silver dollar snuff. This is good snuff. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, but this is the only kind I can get. And so we bought almost every kind they had. We bought... Uh, I bought a Scotch snuff, which I don't, I, I know it's different. I haven't figured out how it's different. I know it's got a little more kick. I got the original, uh, which it has some mint to it. And then I got the natural, which is just straight tobacco uh, smelling. My wife got a spearmint, and she got a raspberry and a coffee. My wife loves coffee snuff, which Mr. Murdoch Kendrick sent us some, and, and they two different ones. But also, I picked up, so look at this. Toke Spanish Brandy. That is flipping awesome stuff. I highly recommend this. If, if you haven't tried this one, you need to try this one. And then picked up Toke. Oh, I got it upside down. Espresso, which is all right. But then I also picked up another sweet snuff while we were there. And guess what? Made by this company. Now, this is a long one now. Uh, probably the longest one yet. Anyway, I went into their humidor and I picked up a couple of these. Now this might be a little hard for you to see, but these, come on, focus, focus, focus. Anyway, these are Rocky Patels. Uh, they're uh, it says Edición Unica, May 28th, 2011. They had a sign on this that said two per customer. I said, if it says two per customer, it's got to be good. Two per customer per day. So either this is going to knock me on my can. I don't know. Mr. Spaulding, Mr. WizD, please enlighten me. Uh, Mr. Oki Cigar and Pipe Smoker, if you're still on, I know you're out there, I know you're busy, but brother, but if you happen to see this, or any of you other cigar snobs, uh, let me know what I'm in for. Uh, I figured if it said two per day per customer, it had to be good. Um, you know, so, it's a Toro, it is a 6x52, I'm going to have a steak dinner and I'm going to have one of these one night. Uh, these have been in my humidor for about three weeks now, uh, sitting at 66%, which if you go plus or minus, it could be as high as 69% uh, humidity, which is right there to 68, which I like, or as low as 63. So that's at the extremes. Um, but my temperature has stayed down uh, below 70. It's staying uh, almost the same as the humidity, which is great. Um, and I've smoked a few, and I have found that is a perfect sweet spot for me. They burn nice. They burn good. They stay soft. Um, but anyway, so that's my recent finds. Coming up on 25 minutes, I am. I. it's a long video. I hope you hung out. If you hung out this far, that's great. Thanks. Make a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, any questions or whatever, I'll be happy to answer them uh, to the best of my knowledge. Hey, uh, thanks for hanging in there. If you hung in this far, I know it's a lot of your time. I know it's a lot of time to ask. Like I said, haven't made a video in a while. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. We will see you guys on the flip side. Captain Spaulding, great talking to you this evening, brother. And uh, you guys take her easy. We'll see you on the next one. And it won't be near as long, I promise.